Before one can actually manage venous thromboembolism, one must be able to properly diagnose it. I'm a hematologist with a special interest in uh, thromboembolism, and part of my job is to be able to not only establish the diagnosis, but probably more importantly, counsel patients and recommend what treatment might be optimal. The chapter on venous thromboembolism diagnosis is unique compared to some of the other chapters, um, whereas uh, the other chapters typically could look at, a, as a, at an intervention and a specific outcome. That wasn't the case for diagnosis. It really uses a new way to, to assess diagnostic tests and raises awareness to clinicians about tests that perhaps they might not readily turn to. So we know that, for example, uh, CT pulmonary angiography is, is, is very widely used to help diagnose pulmonary embolism. And while that may be a, a perfectly acceptable test, it does carry um, a, a risk of radiation to the patient. And so what we've done in the guidelines is really ask the clinician to take a step back and, and question if that really is the, the test that they really should be doing first line. Could they be doing another test that might limit radiation exposure um, or perhaps um, it, you know, ultimately it may be the, the correct test to do, but just to have them pause for a moment before they reflexively order that test, which may or may not be needed.